Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about the digital signage that I've got to create some additional ambience while watching some sports. If you guys recall my other video on digital signage a couple of weeks ago, actually a couple of months ago now, uh, that particular video talked about hitting play on the main screen and then the side screens being used for some additional information such as uh, the runtime of the movie and it displays the movie poster of what's uh, what's playing so when I hit stop it stops and then it, it changes so you guys check out that video as well if I hope you guys can subscribe and uh, get some some information that that may be useful to do your own projects as well so anyway for now it's deep into playoff season lots of big games coming on and we can't go to the movie theaters and we cannot go to uh, an auditorium uh, or a stadium to, to watch some big games. So I'm just trying to recreate some of that magic at home and trying to do it on a budget uh, in a, in a cost-effective way. So, uh, you know, most people may have a spare screen that they're not using in a spare room. You mount them in a portrait mode. So I won't get into detail on, on that aspect of it. I just wanted to at least talk about how I'm doing this. One of the key things is you want some automation when you're uh, when you're controlling screens remotely. So for a keyboard, I use Unified Remote, and I've got one PC running these screens, and I've got another PC running the screens inside the theater room. So what I do is I I download uh, the gifs onto or gifs or a images. Uh, onto my phone and then I, I use FE Explorer another Android app to push them to the network PCs so one PC again if you guys saw the other video I won't get into too much detail but uh, there's a PC running these two screens and there's a PC running the one inside so I had spare PCs that's why I use that uh, otherwise I'd use uh, Raspberry Pi um, watching some uh, NFL games or any games yeah, there's box scores that uh, provide useful information so you can use your side screen to display that level of information as well so for example halftime watching uh, watching a big NFL game today and it's halftime now but you know the real time and stats and everything the box score all shows up it may seem small but uh, you know you can adjust the size to be able to to see everything at a glance while you're sitting on these seats you know, you're watching the big game there, and uh, all the stats are, are showing up on the on the side. So I use that um, if if I really care for a level of detail while watching a watching a big game. So I did a previous video on the holographic fan, so I won't go into too much detail on what this thing is. Uh, questions always come up. It's it's a pretty neat device. All this li uh, uh, this aliasing that you guys see in the video. Uh, is not really visible in the naked eye. It looks like a static uh, display almost. And um, anyway, so this is also Wi-Fi connected, so you can push whichever image you want. And right now, you know, I was aiming to theme it for the Lakers, but I, for the sake of this video, I I just have various different things scrolling through, um, just to show you guys, um, uh, you know, what it what it feels like, what it looks like. You know, for example, there's a uh, halftime, and we're playing here. There's stuff going on, uh, which I re which is which is why I prefer to have animated logos mostly um, scrolling through. So what I what I sometimes also do, and let me pause and start the video again when I switch uh, screens here. Okay, so I just switched the screen. And this is the effect I was talking about. So, you know, this is almost like stadium seating when you're watching a big game. You know, normally the volume's cranked up pretty loud, lots of commotion going on. Uh, so the side screens, you know, for example, watching the Lakers, I have Karim Abdul-Jabbar sitting in the stands in a, in a previous game, uh, GIF that I had found. So, you know, I don't know how it, it's translating on camera, but, you know, when you're sitting there, it it at, you you see it in your peripheral vision on the side uh and it feels like it's extended so if you can imagine 
having a wall of these, not just two screens, like all around in the future when technology is even cheaper and these screens are even cheaper, the ambience that that, that would create would be, would be amazing. So anyway, guys, uh, I don't want to keep this video too long, but I'm going to put a, uh, as much detail in the, in the description of this video as I can, talking about um, the different applications that I've used and a couple of the PCs. So I'll do a little bit of a write-up. So it's a little bit more coherent to understand uh, how I'm accomplishing this. Again, the key message being you want convenience. So if a, game, a big game is going to be on, I usually take about half an hour prior to the big game, especially knowing that you know people are coming over, or even for myself, just yeah, you know, I I spent maybe half an hour looking for uh, images here and there. Uh, um, basically, push it, it takes a couple of minutes just to push them to the folders that I've pre-created on the PC on the different PCs that are running uh, here, and it's it's not sophisticated, so that's why it takes a few minutes to do. But, you know, uh, uh, there are sophisticated applications that you can get uh, or you can get a professional to do it. But, you know, uh, I just don't feel the need or, or uh, time and money to be spent uh, on that aspect of it just yet. Um, but I'm, I'm perfectly fine just pushing images and um, at least theming the basement as I, as I want. So uh, other times, like, you know, for example, Lakers playing tonight, uh, I can dim the lights to all be uh, yellow. I mean, it doesn't turn out too well in the in the video where I turn off uh, d d different elements of uh, of the lights just to create that yellow effect or that red effect or wh whatever team colors you've got. So anyway, guys, um, I appreciate all the subscribers. You're approaching 5,000. Uh, please do subscribe if you're watching this video. I've made some, several others talking about uh, different devices in this room. And I've got some upcoming projects. I want to do a speaker wall. I want to add a couple more subwoofers in the back. And I've got some new theater chairs coming as well. So those theater chairs uh, that are currently in the back row are going to come here. And I'm going to get rid of the upstairs hand-me-down couches that I've got. Um, we up we updated or, or um, uh, basically redid our living room upstairs and and got new sofas there so the old sofas came down but anyway these are gonna go uh, three more of these will sit here that are currently in the back row and I've got some some real nice seats hopefully coming in the next few weeks uh, from Valencia that match the fronts and uh, I'll be doing a, a video on that and I've also got a pretty good update as well from a from a buddy of mine who doesn't live too far from me uh, who has a just completed Renault's on one of the most fantastic uh, theater rooms I've seen. So I'd, I'll likely be going there next weekend, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a video together, and I'll be uh, sharing that as. Well.